A customer came to me with a complaint that their engine was overheating. To begin diagnosing the issue, I observed the engine coolant temperature gauge and found that the coolant temperature exceeded the allowable specifications. This confirmed there was an issue with the cooling system. I connected a scan tool to the vehicle and retrieved two diagnostic trouble codes. Two E81, electric coolant pump, speed deviation, and two E82, electric coolant pump, cutoff. These codes pointed to a potential problem with the electric coolant pump. Next, I performed a thorough inspection of the engine cooling system, including the coolant level, hoses and connections. I found no visible faults or leaks. To further diagnose the issue, I used the scan tool to command the electric coolant pump to turn on. However, the pump did not activate, confirming it was not operating as it should. With the key on and the engine off, I used a multimeter to check for the presence of voltage and ground at the engine water pump connector. Both were present, indicating that the pump was receiving power and ground properly. To rule out a signal issue, I used a lab scope to back probe the engine water pump signal wire. I then used the scan tool to command the pump on while monitoring the signal, which showed that the signal was being sent correctly to the pump. These tests confirmed that the electric coolant pump itself was faulty. A properly functioning electric coolant pump is essential for maintaining the correct engine temperature. It circulates coolant through the engine and radiator, preventing overheating. When the pump fails, coolant flow is disrupted, leading to high engine temperatures that can cause serious damage if not addressed. To resolve the issue, I replaced the faulty electric coolant pump with a new one. After installing the new pump, I cleared the diagnostic codes using the scan tool and performed a road test to verify the repair. The engine maintained its proper operating temperature throughout the test, and the check engine light did not return. The customer's concern was resolved, and the vehicle operated as it should. By systematically diagnosing the problem and confirming the root cause, I ensured the cooling system was restored to proper functionality, preventing potential engine damage and ensuring reliable performance.